What's up everyone, Technic here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to rip the ice out of a PSP game. Let's get started, shall we? So, big disclaimer, you're going to need either a PSP 1000, 2000, or a 3000 run custom firmware. If you have a PSP Go or a PSP Street, it's not going to work because there is no UMD slot. The reason why it has to be on custom firmware is because you need to bring up the VA VSH menu. So, go ahead and start by pressing the select button and the VSH menu is going to pop up. You're going to scroll down to USB device and you're going to scroll right until you see UMD disk. After that, go ahead and go to exit. I heard the full English translation was out and it actually released pretty recently for Fantasy Star Portable 2 Infinity. I'm going to be ripping the ice from this game. So for starters, just go ahead and put the game disc right into the PSP. Then we're going to be moving on to our computer. Just to kind of show you, if you were to look on the PSP, you can see that your game is in there. So now we're going to plug it in and move on to the computer. So once you plug in your PSP, you're going to see the UMD ISO pop up. I kind of have a folder full of all of my games that I personally own that I ripped off. So, or <laughs> ripped off that I ripped from the UMD already. So this one I'll be renaming to Fantasy Star uh, Portable 2 Infinity. So depending on what size the game is will vary how much time it'll actually take to transfer. So this is almost a two gigabyte game. So I can tell you right now, it's going to take quite a bit of time, but this is going to really test how fast my piece, uh, PC is, but I'll be fast forwarding it for you guys. And there you have it. So it kind of was named UMD9660, so any uh, ISO file that you get from any game, just go ahead and rename it to the actual game. It just you can keep tra track of it better that way. So thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.